Hey everybody, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com and today I want to show you kind of a neat trick, a way to kind of blend effects with the recorded signal to take care of some noise that might be there, especially when recording electric guitar. I've talked about stuff like this in the past and this is just a unique thing that I did this morning while I was mixing this song, so I thought I'd share it with you. So this is a fairly big song. I've got the lead vocal muted so you can just hear the instrumental, uh, but it's in G and then the instrumental section modulates to F and it's a fairly big tune as you can hear here. So at the end of that section it gets very quiet and it goes down for the outro to just the lead vocal and three electric guitar parts, very simple parts. And I've got the vocal muted so you can hear the guitar parts here. Here's what they sound like. Okay, so you've got the, the main, uh, the telly part playing just a rhythmic thing and then just two different parts playing kind of complementary swell parts. Now the problem that I found with that is even with the vocal on top is the very end of these because the swells are kind of quiet you get just a, a fair amount of amp noise and so I did a fade on both of those guitars to kind of just make the noise fade out but then the sound of this really ethereal reverby roomy sort of sound just disappeared as you can hear here. Okay if I select these and let you hear that as I pull it back the original part sounds like this. As soon as this, the signal dies out a little bit, you hear a lot of noise. And it's not super loud, but at the end of the song, it's, this song is supposed to end very, very quietly and kind of intimate. So I wanted to get rid of that noise, but I wanted that sound to carry over. And the way I accomplished that was with... So I opened up... Uh, I've got this R verb from Waves, which you can see right here. And I set it to the... I've got, got a pretty cool reverb reverb in here. And so I automated this to just come on um, at the end, at the very end of the uh, of the song when these swells come in. And so when I bring in that reverb, you can hear what that sounds like on these parts here. I lied, sorry, I wasn't using reverb, I was just using this delay. So I've got a nice, a soft analog delay with quarter note repeats happening. And so adding that to it, it adds this nice kind of ethereal sound on top of these, these electric guitars. Let's listen to that one more time. I'll mute this telly so you can just hear those parts. So it just adds a very cool vibe to it. Now the cool part is at the end of the song, when the vocalist is trailing off and these guitars are being held out, that delay is going to just keep going for another couple of seconds. So here's how it sounds at the end. See how that tail of that is just completely super quiet? It's because I've, I've done a, a, a fade on the ends of these guitar parts and then I've got that delay is the only thing you're hearing at the end of the song. So you're just hearing that smooth tail of that delay feeding back into itself over and over and you're not catching any of the amp noise that was there on the tracks before. So it's, that's the kind of the sound I was going for when I recorded this. But when I went back and listened, I realized that because these are swells, the amp noise tends to be a little bit louder because the swells are so quiet and, and get louder and softer and it's hard to really manage the noise from that standpoint. And so in a recording, especially something like this at the end where it needs to be nice and intimate, uh, I was able to use that delay to make that happen. So here's how it sounds with the vocal and the telly right at the end. So that'll just slowly trail off and then the next song on the album is going to start, which is in a complimentary key to this. So there you go. That's just a, an easy way to use some simple delays to your advantage to help cover up some of the noise at the end of a song. Hope you enjoyed this. Try it on your next track that you're working on. Again, I'm Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Head over to HomestudioCorner.com if you want to check out some daily tips that I send via email and see what else is going on over there with the podcast and other fun stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll see you next week.